All right, um, today I want to talk about a really important rule that can be kind of confusing for new shooters, and that is the uh, idea of a cold range. Pretty much every sh match you shoot will be a cold range. Um, what this means is that at any, any time on the stage or the bay you're at, the only person with a loaded gun is the person who is under the direct supervision of the RO. Um, within a squad or a stage, there'll be a chief RO, maybe there'll be an assistant RO, but those ROs are responsible for everybody's safety on that stage. The only way that they can maintain that safety easily is if they're able to supervise the gun handling that's going on. So um, what this means is that like long guns, so your rifle and your shotgun, those will have chamber flags in them or uh, empty chamber indicators, ECIs, um, some people call them. Um, that's to let you know that the chamber is empty. Then those can be on carts or they can be in bags. Uh, pistols, you either keep in a bag or it'll be in a holster. Uh, they cannot come out of the holster f for any reason until the range officer tells you to. And th there's one exception that we'll get to here in a second. So um, you can't, you know, if, um, if you've got a dot, you know, you're an open shooter. You can't be pulling your gun out and checking the dot or anything like that. They have to remain in the holster. Uh, kind of a small exception to that rule or um, is that if you have, um, if, you, if you're able to, you can remove your holster and the gun at the same time, but um, it has to stay in the holster. At no point can it leave the holster unless um, you're with the range officer and he, and he tells you to do it or you, um, you're at a safe area. So the, the two exceptions to this rule, the first is safe areas. Uh, different ranges will have different areas. They may be labeled, they may not. Um, it's worth asking if you don't see one. In a safe area, you can handle guns. You can um, check your check your pistol. You can lubricate it, um, take it apart if you gotta fix something. Same with rifles and shotguns. The important thing about safe areas is that there's no live ammo there, so or ammo of any kind. So you can't have um, don't have things on your shotgun caddy. No pistol mags. No rifle mags. Leave those back at your bag or your um, your other area. And then at that safe table, you can pull your pistol out. You can do what you need facing in a safe direction. Uh, the other exception would be shotgun preload tables. Most any stage that does have a shotgun that starts loaded will have a shotgun preload table. How this works is um, usually before the stage starts, before people start shooting or at some point, they'll let you know where that's at. You can go bring your shotgun there. Um, if you have to, you can remove the flag. You load the magazine tube up, just the magazine tube, nothing in the chamber. And then once it's loaded to the vision capacity or whatever the rules uh, or stage says, then you put the chamber flag in and then you leave the shotgun there with the flag in it at the preload table. And this is just speed it up so that when it's your turn, you can walk over there, grab your shotgun and um, go to wherever the RO wants you to go with that. So except for these exceptions, there's really shouldn't be gun handling. If you, um, if you need to do something, you really need to ask. So don't be back at your, um, you know, back at your cart messing around with your gun or taking it off the cart to check the um, scope or or anything like that. It, it just needs to stay with the flag in it where it needs to be. Um, when it's time to shoot, then you can grab your rifle, shotgun, pistol, whatever it is. You know, if your pistol's in your holster or if it's in a bag, keep it in the bag. You keep them in the condition that they've been in. And then go to wherever the range officer wants. And at that point, he will walk you through the loading procedure. So if, uh, for instance, um, it's a three-gun stage. You grab your rifle from your cart, go muzzle up or muzzle down, depending on what the range wants. And then your pistol's already in your holster. Walk over to the preload table, grab your shotgun, same thing, muzzle up or muzzle down. Um, we'll walk up, say you were staging shotgun in the front, you know, front area. So I'll walk up, you'll handle the your gun to the uh, RO, if you've got two guns usually, and then he'll say, make your shotgun ready. At that point, you can remove the flag, you can load it, do whatever it is that the stage brief calls for you to do, and then place it in whatever the staging area is. He'll hand you your rifle back, um, then let's say we go and the rifle's next, so we'll go over to where the rifle is, and he'll say, okay, you can load and make your rifle ready. 
something along that lines, depending on the rule set, the RO. At that point, you can remove the flag, load your magazine. Um, if you need to check an optic or adjust that, usually it's better to do that before you've removed your chamber flag and your magazine, but get your sight picture, load it, do whatever the stage brief or the RO tells you to do. Stage that. Then you would go and wherever the start position, he'll tell you, you know, load, make ready your pistol. Then you can load and make your pistol ready. You wait for the commands that he gives you. Don't, um, don't rush the RO. You may have seen 10 people do this and you know exactly what he's going to say, but don't just walk up there and before he says anything, whip the pistol out, throw a magazine in. Um, that can get you DQ'd depending on the RO or the, again, the rule set. But, um, more than anything, the, the RO wants to maintain control. He's got a reason for doing what he's doing. You may think the stage is clear and you get up there and you start whipping your chamber flag out and there's a, a guy still downrange resetting or, or something like that. And, um, you know, that's the reason for these rules. The RO is responsible for knowing that the stage is clear and that it's all right to make guns hot now. So just listen, wait for him to tell you what to do. When he tells you, just follow his directions and uh, do it. If you... If you're not sure, if you have a question, just ask. There's been more than one person DQ'd for, um, he'll go there and he thinks, and earphones on, he thinks the RO says make ready, and he starts making ready. So if he says, if, if you're not clear or you don't hear him, say, could you say that again? You know, speak up. Did you say make ready? Something before you, you act. It's, um, it's his responsibility to keep it safe, and it's your responsibility to listen to what he says. Um, you know, different ranges do different things. Um, even me as a, uh, I've been shooting for five or six years at this point, and um, if I go to a new range that I've not shot at, I'll still ask the match director where I'm signing up, you know, what their rules are, uh, where I can um, put my guns in my cart, where I can um, adjust things, if there's safe tables. I'll just ask them all that ahead of time. No one's going to think, you know, that you don't know what you're doing or, or think less of you because you ask a question. So... Um, that some of these rules, some of this stuff is maybe redundant or, you know, you do things that you think, well, this is, this is safe and it, it's safe gun handling anywhere else except on a cold range. So, um, the reason that we have these different layers of safety and, um, rules that seem kind of excessive to some people, especially new shooters is because that's how we keep the sport safe. Um, even with these layers of safety, if, if one of them fails, you've got two or three others. And this is a way we can enjoy the sport without having incidents. And, and yearly, you know, I don't know the numbers, but yearly there are very, very few incidents where there, there's guns accidents from, you know, people getting hurt. So, um, you know, that just shows how these rules work. And, um, you know, they didn't just get that way overnight. It's been long time, people having accidents that continue to push them where they're at. So, um. Uh, for a new shooter, it can be confusing. If you have questions, feel free to email, a direct message, um, comment below, and I uh, hope to see you out in the range.